Murphy on as they were coming down here to Spartanburg today. We've seen some of those players arrive, as you're mentioning. Mike was talking about earlier when we saw Baker come in there, and I believe we actually have some video of what Mike's calling QB1. Can we call him QB1? Uh, he's Mike? QB1. He's <laughs> come here and take a pay cut to be the backup guy. He's the quarterback. Don't let Matt Rule deceive you. There he is. The men now are and arriving with, with Shaq, too. It looks like Shaq Thompson there. Baker and Shaq. So, okay, Mike, I'm going to ask for the expert opinion here, the analysis by our CSL crew. <laughs> Baker showing up early to camp. What do you make of that? Well, I do want to point out some guys were here last okay. night. But as far as early today, yes, he mm -hmm. was the first. I think that's a great sign. I mean, Baker, a controversial player, but since coming to the Panthers, he's been doing all the right things. His, his wife actually tweeted a picture of him on an airplane studying the playbook during his interview with Will Kunkel. He was being polite. He was saying he wants to help out the team. Baker is, is on his best behavior, mm -hmm. and as long as he's on his best game, I don't think you'll get any complaints from the fans or head coach Matt Rule. Okay, and as you said, there is no quarterback battle, despite what Matt Rule may be saying. It's going to be Baker week one. You don't see that changing. Is there anything that could happen on this field behind us that I changes mean, that? I mean, granted, he could have a disastrous training camp, and, and that could change it. But as long as Baker Mayfield plays the way that well, he played two years ago, he's going to mm. get this job. Darnold's a great quarterback. Uh, he's Darnold's big, a great quarterback? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm being very nice here. <laughs> Darnold's a great guy. He's been yeah. very gregarious about the whole situation. He said all the right things. But I think deep down everyone knows the score here. Yeah, I would say so. But look, the thing that we know. We're going out. I, I was trying to be nice. Try, yeah, yeah I know. I know. Guy. That's on me. He's, look. We love the competition there. That's going to be great, not just you for... You look so official holding the football, I, by I the way. I try. It just it makes me believe. There's no reason for this other than just to look official when we're talking to <laughs> I think they could tell by the fact there's a big field behind it. Yeah, yeah. I just... You know what? It, it makes me almost believe like I'm included yeah, in camp because no. I'm excited to be there. And you know what? The players are, too. We actually got some sound from Brian Burns about how excited he is to be at campus. Jer Jeremy Chin as well. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, mainly because that's where the bond really develops. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, we get away from all the distractions to just us, you know, in those buildings that we play cards, we joke, we get to know each other on a different level. So I'm definitely, like, excited for it. What I'm not excited for yes. are those, you know, those gruesome days out there. But, I mean, that, that builds our character and that builds our brand. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a good off season. Um, I feel great. Uh, I'm excited to just see, see the guys again and get back to work. You know, Brian Burns, uh, he's always been a guy that has great agility. Mm -hmm. But this offseason, he's been working hard in the weight room. He's put a lot of muscle on I think about like 15, 20 pounds. That's going to pay off huge because now he's going to be able to power past guys, not just use his quickness to get around them. Yeah, you know what? Look, I'm excited to see Brian Burns play. I'm excited to see Jeremy Chin play. And you know what? It's exciting to be down here in Spartanburg because, you know, just about five minutes away from training camp is downtown Spartanburg. Yeah, completely different city uh, than Charlotte, and, and here's why. Like you said, it's a lot different than Charlotte. So there's a lot of old buildings. It's a big city, they tell me, with a small town feel. The first thing you'll notice when you pull into downtown is the clock tower right in the center of town. They also have some very interesting art pieces, even a statue that is sitting on a bench, and then the art is actually on the crosswalks that you use in downtown. And then they even have some very interesting uh, yield signs for pedestrians that we'll get to in just a second. But really the big thing they want to uh, convey to people about their downtown, it's pretty much all local, all local restaurants, all local businesses. One of the major roads is still shut down from the pandemic, and they plan to keep it that way because they've made it into this huge outdoor space with hundreds of tables where people can enjoy outdoor dining either during the day, during the night, as well as right near the fountain. And uh, we spoke with uh, some of the business leaders who uh, have this message for people if they are visiting downtown Spartanburg over the next few weeks. You know, if you're someone that likes to experience authenticity, you know, local restaurants, uh, local cultural amenities, so on and so forth, Spartan Marie is a place for you. We're seeing more visitors than ever. We're seeing more vis visitors staying longer than ever. And a majority of them are coming from Charlotte. 
So speaking of those visitors that are staying, they have hotels right downtown, and a lot of them, like I said, are in old buildings. And let's go back to the yield signs for pedestrians. It's not just an ordinary triangle. They painted it, and I think if you saw it said, OMG, yes, you have to stop for pedestrians, and stop right now. So hopefully when our crew is barreling through downtown to get to dinner, they'll stop for those pedestrians <laughs> so when they see those very interesting uh, yield signs that downtown Spartanburg was able to come up with. Uh, back to you guys, Julian and Mike, back to you. All right, Brett, thank you. You know what, I'm going to actually put this football to good use, Mike Lissette. I'm going to see if I can hit one of those guys on the lawnmower. That would make it wow. hard for, for people to listen to Brett Baldick there. Aggression and uh, anger here from the Because we're fired up. We're fired yeah. up. But look, okay, we have a lot more from training camp. I'm going to keep the football here.